All right, guys, so I forgot my camera charger, so the next few videos are all gonna be filmed on my iPhone, so let me know if you hate it. If you like it, I'll keep doing it. Anyway, so nose manuals is a trick that I've always thought looks super sick, but getting into it has always felt really unnatural and scary for me. And so I've kind of just put this one on the back burner for years, and I can like nose manual on flat, but I can't ollie up into nose manual. So I figure today should be the day that I finally overcome the nose manuals and, and lock them in. And who better to help me do it than Aaron Cairo? Say what you will about Aaron Cairo, but he probably one of the most talented manual skaters ever. Watching his video parts, it's like he has the perfect balance cheat code from Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. It's just like manual, pop to manual, pop to another manual, pop to another manual, just popping into every single manual, spinning around. So that's the goal for today, is just to learn how to nose manual from Aaron Cairo and finally put this one in the quiver first if you do like these videos and you want to see more go ahead and like and subscribe that way YouTube knows to recommend my videos to you and then if you want to see more you can follow me at the local Joe on Instagram if you want to buy any of the parts that I use on my skateboard all the links are in the description remember to make every single day of Friday to get back to the video so the way that Aaron Cairo breaks down learning how to nose manual first is just to learn how to do it on flat so I can already do that but I'm definitely gonna take some time to warm up my nose manuals on flat then after that the next step is to learn how to pop into a nose manual so basically roll up to a curb ollie and then land with your front foot on the flat part of the nose and your back foot over the bolts that way you can really sit comfy in that nose manual once you can get into the nose manual then he says to keep your body really really still that just helps with the balance that way you're not flailing your arms everywhere and making the balance harder than it needs to be he doesn't really mention anything about getting out of it but I think I think we've all seen it at the end of a nose manual you just kind of do like a nollie pop out just like a pressure nollie so i'm gonna go ahead and get warmed up and then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can uh, figure out how to do some nose manuals should be an exciting day let's get it all right we got the whole park to ourselves see how long that lasts hopefully hopefully a while super stoked with what I got so far, especially that crook and that kickflip. I'm trying to work up my kickflips to try and be able to do drops again. And that's the biggest ledge I've crooked. I mean, it's not that big, but just getting more experience crooking. So hyped with everything I got. Now it's time to learn nose manuals. So step one, we're just gonna roll past the pad and do nose manuals. Probably do like five or 10 till they're feeling comfortable. Then step two, we're just gonna go up to the pad slow, ollie, and then try and hold a nose manual for a little bit. And basically just work on switching the feet from ollie position to nose manual position and then once we're feeling good do five to ten of those and then we'll move on to trying to uh, manual the end and pop out so yeah this could be a struggle but uh yeah let's try and get it Okay, so those are feeling okay. I feel like that same technique from the crooks is gonna come into play here, where you kinda keep the weight on your back foot as long as possible, and then shift it onto your front foot. But let's try and get into some manuals and see how that goes. It's a crazy Monday. I know it shows that I'm a little nervous. All right, so that's the first one that I've actually sat in. I want to get a few more like that and then add a little bit of speed and I think we got it. All right, 
So the ones I'm getting into are just few and far between. Like I'm getting into a decent amount, but it's not consistent. So I think I might just add a little bit of speed and help see if that helps and just kind of go straight for the land because I think the extra speed is going to help me balance. So see if we can do it. That is a surreal feeling. I've been wanting to do that for so long. I got into that one and I was just like, is this gonna go? Is this gonna be the one? It turned out it worked out. So let's try and get two to make it true and then uh, get the rest of the part. was a super productive day. We got nose manuals. We full capped over the hip, kick flip off something, kick flip up something, got a crook. It's interesting to me how crooks for me are way more comfortable than nose slide. I think it's because your body doesn't get completely sideways with crooks and then that pop out, it really decides if you're gonna land it or not. So as you pop, you kind of know exactly what's gonna happen. It's more sticky to your feet. Whereas nose slides, I feel like I don't really pop them out so they don't feel like I can really trust them as much. But yeah, I'm really stoked on those nose manuals. I think what helped me, it's the same same thing that helped me figure out the crook is this teeter-totter effect where if you put all the weight on your back foot as you're going up all the weight will come onto your front foot as you're coming down so I would just think lean as I was popping into it, I would lean forward but keep the weight on my back foot so I'd be lifting up my front foot and leaning forward so that way when I landed all the weight was perfectly positioned over my front truck after that it was really just being gentle enough to get in and if I was able to get into a nose manual and ride it straight for six to eight inches the momentum would just carry it but that was the main problem is I would get into it and want to turn heel side and that would just kind of shift it and when you're in a nose manual it will pivot really really fast so it's really crucial to get those first six to eight inches straight and so I would kind of like push the nose out in front of me to try and hold it straight and then once I got a few of those it just kind of came naturally so really really happy about that hopefully that helps you guys learn nose manuals I do think that breaking it down by looking at Aaron Cairo, Cairo's trick tip and breaking it into those three steps, first manualing on flat and then just ollieing to try and get your weight over the front truck on the pad and then adding speed. Honestly, I feel like that progression worked really, really well. So hopefully some of you guys can try it and get your first nose manual as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see more, like and subscribe. That way YouTube will recommend more of my videos to you. And then if you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at the local Joe. Remember to make every day a Friday. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.